And maybe as you read this story, there is something in this woman's story that you can relate with. You see, I think that there's something that we can all relate with. Because the Bible is clear, right? The Bible says that all sin and fall short of the glory of God. That there is something about this woman's condition that is a shared, it is a universal experience that we all have, right? We have all damaged relationships. We've all done things that fall short of the mark of perfection that God has set out for each of us. And, but this is the good news, right? And it's not, I don't know why the Bible calls it good news. It's great news. It's the most amazing news that has been ever shared. Because the Bible says we have no more reason to hide. Right? Luke 19.10 says this. The Son of Man came to seek and save the lost. Right? So even though we are hiding, even though this woman in the story that we're reading, she is hiding the Son of Man, Jesus Christ. He comes to seek and to save that which is lost. See, Jesus knows this woman's sinful condition. She knows, he knows that she is hiding from both God and others. And so an interesting part of the story is that Jesus doesn't wait for this woman to clean herself up. Right? He doesn't wait for her to get her life in order. What does Jesus do? Because he knows that she is created for fellowship. Jesus goes to her. Despite all the, all the cultural implications and ramifications, Jews aren't supposed to go through Samaria. He goes to this town, Sychar, and he ends up meeting with this woman. He knows she's created for fellowship, and so he begins to call her to fellowship, first and foremost with God, but then that she might gain fellowship with those whom she's alienated. 